Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick guide on how to replace the ambient temperature sensor for Alfa Romeo GT. So if your uh, sensor uh, went bad, uh, you will notice on the front display it will give a wrong reading of the temperature, your air conditioning will also not work properly. Since I never done this uh, job before, I didn't actually know where this sensor was uh, located, so I looked up online uh, how to replace Alpha GT Romeo sensor, ambient temperature sensor. Uh, I couldn't find any information about Alpha GT. I found some information about other Alpha Romeos, and basically it came down to that it's located inside the mirror. It could be inside the driver side mirror, or it could be the passenger side mirror. So, of course, the next logical step was to open the mirror of the driver's side. Once I opened the mirror of the driver's side, uh, I couldn't find the sensor basically anywhere. I saw three wires going inside the uh, two motors that are rotating the mirror upside, downside and left right. And uh, two other, uh, two other uh, cables actually connecting with the mirror itself. I'm not sure what those are for, but I was thinking maybe that's the sensor, but no, it wasn't because after I disconnected the cable, the the temperature reading inside my car was still uh, showing, not the correct uh, reading, but it was still showing. So I was pulling my hair out. Where is this fucking sensor? Uh, yeah, nowhere to be found. And uh, later I used my uh, cigarette lighter and I was going around the mirror watching inside the display as well and I finally found it it's uh, located as you can see down there where I'm pointing with my finger right now so basically the point of the story is uh, it's not necessary to removing the uh, mirror uh, glass from the from the from the tube itself uh, all you have to do is you have to screw the three bottom uh, screws to reach this sensor. As you can see, it's located under the holder of the mirror itself. Um, so basically, there are two cables going to the sensor. The polarity doesn't matter, so they are all black. There is no black, uh, black and red. So if you decide to do this job, it's not really hard. Uh, the only uh, issue is removing the the one screw that's uh, near the uh, near the doors because the the space is really really tight. So if you don't have the proper tools, uh, I would advise to use a, a small bit, uh, put it underneath this uh, uh, the screw, hold it with one hand. And then take a tank uh, and rotate this bit with a tank manually until it's open. It's kind of yeah, set job to do, but it's possible. The other option is uh, to remove the whole mirror from inside the car. It's uh, it's all with three bigger screws. Uh, but that's that, that's even more of a job. You have to screw more things. So what I did was kind of and easier and maybe a little bit harder because it's really, really really tight space. So if you order the original part, uh, you know how it looks. Uh, what I ordered was something different. I ordered uh, a 10 car resistor. Uh, that's basically same value as what's used by the car itself. Uh, but this one is uh, basically meant for 3D printers. Uh, I didn't know if it would work when I ordered it, uh, but I was thinking, okay, it's same value and uh, it it's worth a shot, you know. So I ordered maybe like uh, 50 of those for uh, five five euros. Um, and let me show you what I did. As you can see on this clip, the difference is uh, really big. You would think this uh, would not work, but it uh, it all went fine. And uh, let me show you what I exactly did to replace it. I basically cut the 
the wires on the top, uh, the two black wires. Um, I uh, basically soldered those two wires of the new uh, resistor in place. Um, and I decided to keep the old one in its uh, position to in its old position so it keeps the water out. As you can see, the wires are cut. Uh, let me see where this other picture is. Uh, yeah, as you can see here, uh, it's all soldered. I later on isolated it with uh, with uh, tape. And here you can see me, I have uh, placed the old resistor back uh, with cut wires just to keep uh, the water out. And the new resistor is going a little bit underneath it just to keep it in place. Uh, and it's a little bit around the corner so it's still uh, getting good outside readings and uh, being, uh, being dry because this sensor is really really sensitive uh, i have noticed maybe even more sensitive than than the orig original one so this is probably the best best place for it uh, and let me show you the reading inside the car and how well it responds to to temperature changes yeah as you can see here i'm now inside the car uh, already placed the sensor the temperature is going so high up when I hold the uh, hold the uh, soldering iron near it. You do you see that? Now I keep it out and it's going down fast, but uh, the result is really phenomenal. It's uh, it's working basically perfect. And I just wanted to make a quick video on how you can do this. You don't exactly need the original part. If you want, you can buy one, but it's not necessary. Maybe this this works even better. So. I wish you luck and uh, yeah, see you.